All right, here, I'm here with uh, Brandon Allen, quarterback from Fayetteville, who's going to be on the Arkansas campus next fall. Brandon, just go back to your season. You, you had an outstanding senior season. Kind of reflect on that a little bit, if you would. Yeah, as a team, we, we did the best we could, you know. Um, coming into the season, our main goal was to get to the state championship, and, and we got there, you know, faced a good Bentonville team, and we just came up a little bit short on there. Kind of, I've seen you progress from your sophomore, junior to senior year. Your whole game just, you know, improved each year. What do you think that was the biggest progression from your junior to senior year? If anything, the maturity level. You know, as a sophomore, I was really scared. You know, the older guys, faster game, wasn't really used to it. And, and junior and senior year, just, you know, being around it, you know, going through a whole season and, and knowing the game really slowed down for me then. And, and really just the maturity level, being able to lead the team and everything like that. You hear about commentators, quarterbacks talking about the game, how it slows down. Kind of describe that a little bit when you say it slows down for you. Yeah, when you when I came in as a sophomore, and you know the routes that were usually open in junior high and stuff, you know the wide open gaps and stuff, you you had no problem hitting. And then when you get to the high school level, it's really you got to lead your receiver more. I mean, the receivers are faster, DBs are faster, and if you you throw it behind them, it is most likely going to get picked. So I mean, when it slows down, you're able to see it a lot quicker. You played in the offense, defense, All-American game, and you you uh, threw to Joe Morrow. You, you uh, uh, Lonnie Gosha was there. Cam Clear was there. Kind of talk about throwing to Joe Morrow and, and your thoughts on him. Yeah, Joe. I uh, threw Joe and Cameron, and they're both on my offense. And Joe is he's a big, tall, strong receiver, and uh, he's, he's a mismatch for a lot of a lot of the shorter corners out there. So, I um, mean, having him there it was easy target. You know, he'd, if I threw it up to him, he'd go up and get it. Same with Cameron Clear. Uh, he's a big, strong tight end, and um, you know, he's, he's quick enough to be be a huge mismatch for linebackers. He can get away from them and go over the top of them too. Both of them uh, say they're going to visit Arkansas. Kind of talk about you, you, your thoughts on the chances of them being Razorbacks. I think they have good. Uh, Arkansas has a good shot at uh, getting both of them. I know Joe likes the Hogs, and uh, and I talked to Cameron a lot about about them, and he's still undecided about them. But I know I know they're in, they're in his top choices. So I think keep recruiting them, and uh, we have a good shot at them. Lonnie Gosha was there. What was your thoughts on him? Lonnie, he's, he's a tear on the defense. Uh, and even in practice, he's running through the line. He, no one could really stop him. And um, He's still undecided, too. He's going to finish out some visits, but I think Arkansas still has a good shot with him, too. You've been raised around Razorback football. Was there any doubt that you was not going to go to the University of Arkansas? It really wasn't that much of a doubt. Um, I've been here for I guess, the past 12 years, and, and I've always been really a Razorback fan. So, um, to get an offer from them, you know, growing up, always being a Hog fan, uh, why not just go there? Can I talk about this? You and your dad. Your dad's a defensive tackle coach at Arkansas, and you're going to be on the other side of the uh, the ball. What is that going to be a little weird sometimes? Him being coaching on the other side, and you're 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 on the offense. Yeah, I mean, when I step on the field, I'm just another player to him. I mean, uh, he's going to treat me the same, if not, you know, be a little bit harder on me and the rest of the players. So, I mean, I really won't be able to see him that much just because he's on defense and on offense completely different. But um, I know when I do see him, he's just going to just gonna make sure I'm doing good and um, getting everything done I need to get done. You've been around the program for so long. <laughs> Talk about the advantages and the things that you've learned being around the program as a quarterback. Um, I think the, the main thing, just, you know, coming out to practice and just um, watching the offense and what they're capable of doing. So, um, when I get in there uh, in the summer, I, I won't be that far behind. I think that being there up there so much that I have been, uh, I really know what's going on in their offense. Reflect back on, you've seen a lot of Arkansas football games uh, since your dad's been on uh, the staff for so long. What are some of the more memorable ones? Well, there's a few I remember. I mean, when I was a kid, um, uh, probably was probably eight or, eight or so, I don't really know the age, but we would play Texas at home. and. Um, I was on the sideline. I really didn't know what was going on. Everyone started storming the field after we won, and I was just really scared and lost in the huge crowd. And I didn't know what was going on. Trying to find my dad, and didn't know what was going on. And um, so that was that was really memorable for me. And also just uh, the LSU game when Matt Jones threw it to it was to Corey Birmingham in the back of the end zone. Uh, that was probably the funnest game I've ever seen. The, the, the uh, when. The the crowd stormed the field. That was the 98, uh, was it 99 t uh, Tennessee game. Was that it? Was it Tennessee? Yeah, I think it so. Was an orange team, I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, when they stormed the field, it was crazy. Yeah, I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, what's, what's your goals for next year, you know, being a, a Razorback? Um, you know, I'm going to come in 
um, and just do whatever they need me to get done. I mean, if that is starting, backup, red shirt, whatever it takes, um, I'll go there and do the best, uh, best that I can and, and hopefully they give me a shot and we'll see what happens. A couple of Q&As. Uh, mm -hmm. well, what's, uh, what's your favorite NFL team? Favorite NFL team? I'd say the Falcons. Uh, favorite NFL player? Matt Ryan. Uh, favorite food? Favorite food. My mom makes food called empanadas. They're Argentinian. Um, I don't really know if there's meat and bread, and it's really good. Uh, favorite movie? Uh, oh, Hangover. Uh, favorite actor? Favorite actor. I'd say Johnny Depp. Favorite actress? Actress. Uh, oh, Kira Knightley. Most beautiful woman in the world. Ooh. I don't know. Who should I say that one? Uh, that's a hard one. Uh, say my mom. <laughs> she'll like that answer. <laughs> Go. Brandon Allen here, ex quarterback from uh, Fayetteville. Here with Austin Allen, the incoming quarterback for Fayetteville. And Austin, just coming into this season, you know, after I did so well and led the team to a yeah. state championship uh, run at it, I guess. Um, what's it going to be like coming in and taking the reins? Uh, it'll be good. You know, I'll probably try to break a few year records, right. maybe win the state championship while I'm there. Okay. Uh, you know, get some wins. Get some wins. All right. And speaking of records, you know, um, <laughs> almost every record a quarterback can uh, have at our at, uh, Fayetteville. And what kind of record do you think going to be? Maybe not the total passing yards, mm -hmm. but maybe completion percentage, touchdowns in a season. In a season. Yeah. So you're not going to break any career records, is that what you're trying to say? Probably not. You know. A lot of your league there. You got a little head start. That's not, uh, that's not very fair. Excuses. <laughs> um, let's see. People talk about that you can't run as well as I can. Uh, what do you say to that? Uh, I guess I'll have to show people what I can do. Uh, yeah. yeah. Plan on hitting up any speed camps? Yeah, of course. Getting in the gym. Mm -hmm. I'll be going to, um, I don't know, that one at All-Star. What? I don't know. The speed camp place. Speed to get, camp. Yeah. All-Star Sports Arena. Yeah, to run like you. Uh, all right. Um, how would you say your arm strength is compared to mine? Um, I think it's better at really? this stage than it was. How many yeah. yards can you throw? Uh, like 55. 55. Uh, I want to say I did 55 as a sophomore, but. I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't tested it out in a while. I got I might, you. might have to do that. Plan on playing baseball this year, too? Of course. Of course. Baseball. Yeah. How's your baseball swing? It's mind. getting there. It's getting there. Hit a few out this year. And there you have it from Austin Allen. Thank you, Austin, <laughs> for spending time with hey, me. Hey, no problem, yeah. man. No problem. <laughs>